Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Enemy Within. So we had a Team Mech versus Team Unholy Abomination of Regenic Recombination. Regenic? Genetic Recombination uh, on the last video. It seemed like most people wanted us to use our meld and put it towards creating cybernetic super soldiers. I'm totally down with that. So Team Mech, I'm declaring you the victors. And in order to get mechs up here, uh, what we will have to do is build a cybernetics lab. And we don't really gain a benefit from building uh, a cybernetics lab adjacent to anything else, so I think it's a smart decision to probably throw a cybernetics lab over here. So in building this, we'll be able to build uh, mechanized exoskeletal cyber suits and augment soldiers to wear them. This facility counts as a workshop for adjacency bonuses. Okay, never mind. So it actually does uh, have some importance, but we'll just build a workshop here, and then we'll start building like power generators and workshops over here as well. So uh, we'll build a cybernetics lab. This will require three power, which is not that much. And cool. So that'll be up in like 10 days. So we've got some time before we're probably going to be able to make use of that. Let me just take a quick look at our situation here. On the last episode, you know, we did lose a soldier. That's never good. We have a definitely a priority to launch a satellite over France as soon as we get one. And we should probably launch a satellite over either China, Japan, or India. So, you know, what is your favorite of these Asian nations? I don't know. That's probably a question I shouldn't have posed. We have one more satellite under construction, if I remember correctly. Let me check that out to be sure. Um, yes, it's going to be done in 12 days. It wouldn't hurt to build another one, but in order to do that, I actually will need to um, maybe build some more power. Why? Uh, not enough engineers on. So I need to get more engineers. So we'll probably have to do one more mission first, but it wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing in the world to build another satellite just to get it on the go, because these do take like three weeks. Um... Cool, so that's going to cost me some engineers and almost all of my available credits, but it's okay, we're good to go. So, let's scan for some activity here and we'll see if we get something. Um, we may have a council mission coming in soon. Uh, request one satellite from India. I'm sorry, that is a terrible, terrible trade. Um, we may have a council mission. One thing I forgot to mention is that with Enemy Within, you do also get the Slingshot DLC, so it's possible that pretty soon uh, we will start doing those missions from the Slingshot DLC that maybe you didn't see before, and we'll get a, a special character that is actually fairly useful, especially if you die, or if you lose a character right off the bat, which is what I did. Actually, my squaddy level support got killed, unfortunately. Okay, so now, first things first, though, we have a UFO mission. Um, so there's probably like 80 to 90% odds that are... Uh, Interceptor here actually will be able to shoot down the UFO and then we'll be able to go there and, um, you know, do what we do. Basically kill the aliens and not get killed ourselves, hopefully. So, or ourselves, I suppose. So, um, we are going to, I, I don't really have any other options here except for just watching this. So we're basically just going to hope that we don't miss. Yeah, okay. So, um, we, we took them down easily. That encounter might as well be scripted in all honesty. So yeah, let's send a Sky Ranger out there. Uh, we have three squaddies and a rookie. So our rookie is going to be our new support. Uh, so we'll give her the med kit. Just mind the blood. Florenzia Nightingale, your um, loss has not been in vain. So I'm going to customize our new soldier. What's a good uh, name for a soldier? I like Eagle Eye. I can't give them their own nickname. But maybe Eagle Eye is one of the randomly generated nicknames as well. So it could be Eagle Eye, Eagle Eye. I kind of want to put Eagle Eye as the last one. But... Uh, Eagle Eye Crosshair seems good to me, so um, we'll make sure that, you know, they're, they're a sniper, so they've got to stay hidden. Maybe we'll go with, like, the standard armor. Yeah, that's relatively inconspicuous. And, uh, you know, I want her to be as, uh, you know, clandestine as possible, so why don't I put her in... Hmm, I've already used, like, so many of these colors because they're so brash and offensive. Um, we'll put her in bright, uh, uh, maybe I should have gone with blue back there. There we go. Well, we'll go with this yellow. Do I have a second yellow soldier? Not really. I have roll fizzle beefs rolling out in this Minnesota Vikings garb here. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Um, one thing I should really do, uh, probably when I get, uh, the next, uh, funding, like, spell that I get, which is usually at the end of, uh, a month. Uh, I should really upgrade my officer training school so that I actually get five soldiers permission or even six soldiers permission instead of the usual four. Uh, this makes an enormous difference on how things will go for you. Uh, and you really want to get that out there as soon as possible, especially considering that I'm playing on a higher difficulty level. It's what I love about, uh, you know, XCOM and Enemy Unknown specifically, because that's the one that I have by far the most experience with, um, is this... Uh, uh, this consistent like pull between so many things like I want to spend money on 
making my soldiers better uh, via those mechanized enhancements. Those are going to be real expensive, though. I also want to build as many satellites as possible. Oh, we, we did find some meld, so we'll probably start moving our soldiers over this way instead. Um, I want to uh, build as many satellites as possible. I want to build as many facilities as possible. Unfortunately, we just don't have the money necessary to, necessary to uh, accomplish all that. So we're going to prioritize this meld first. One thing I do want to point out is that um, this is the... Uh, or a very good example. Okay, three sectoids or two sectoids? Two sectoids. That's acceptable, I think. Uh, now we've got to decide. We've got to make a judgment call because I'm not really behind cover. Uh, do I want to move behind cover? Or can I toss a, the greatest grenade of all time? It doesn't appear so. There is like a... Oh, I can't even get into that barn door, unfortunately. Um, okay, we're going to move our assault over here. And maybe she can toss a grenade in here. Oh, she doesn't have a grenade because she's not an assault. She is our medic. Uh, well, either way, she's going to be taking a shot, right? So why don't we have her shoot at uh, this one? 46% chance beats 45. Uh, well, that's pretty terrible. Um, we don't necessarily want to have Fizzle Beef there. We'll have our Assault now do a, uh, a run and gun. And we're not going to put her too far in. We still want her to be as far away as possible so that, you know, we don't... Our, our number one priority is not uh, losing soldiers. So 58%, 42. Let's take the 58. And we got him. Okay, so that's... A little bit, <clears throat> sorry, a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to move my sniper behind here. Sectoids don't have any area of effect ta attacks, so, um, you know, I probably shouldn't be standing just next to this explosive barrel. But we have basically a coin flip's chance of killing this sectoid. Um, and nobody's on Overwatch, so I think we might as well go for the kill here as opposed to just giving the alien a free shot. Alright, it looks like we are going to get the kill. That was not a, an easy decision to make, in all honesty. Pretty difficult because you never know, um, you know, maybe the alien is going to get a critical hit like we saw happen last time where I got killed by a sectoid. Oh, both meld canisters are over here. So we'll just do a quick scout out to make sure that uh, there are no aliens in the area. And of course, we'll stay on Overwatch as much as possible. I, I almost don't want to move out this far just to see if I aggro any other aliens. But what I wanted to point out before we got into our um, uh, tactics there was this is one of the kind of selling points of Enemy Within is that, uh, you know, a lot of people complained in Enemy Unknown that were just, there were just, like, n no new maps. So, you know, you'd have, like, an alien uh, or UFO crash mission, and it would be in, like, the same field that every UFO crash, crash mission was in. This one's not. This one's in, like, a barn, kind of like a rural country area, but not necessarily just an abandoned field. Um, and I've done some that were actually, like, in urban areas, which is kind of cool. Uh, I w it wasn't really, like, a major concern for me in... Uh, Enemy unknown, in all honesty, I, uh, you know, the differentials in, in maps didn't really bother me. Okay, so we found an outsider alien, uh, which is like the crystalline form. He'll probably... Mm, I thought he would run backwards, but in actuality... Oh, we do have a shot here. 45% chance to hit with our sniper. Um, here's what I'm thinking. We'll throw a grenade, and I should be able to do this in such a way that it hits the crystal alien, but also this will blow up the cover around the alien uh, so that the sniper will probably have a better chance. Eventually we'll have to capture one of these guys, but um, today's not that day. So, um, now let me rotate the map back so I can actually get a kind of mental map for how this works. Now we've got a 65% chance to hit, and that could be a miss conceivably. Uh, seven, actually, a critical hit chance. I didn't even need to waste the grenade. So that was pretty good. Uh, we already got one meld canister. We're going to work up towards our second one. One thing I should point out is, uh, you know, previously when I played through uh, a few hours of Enemy Within, I got genetic enhancements. Those are real expensive. Some of the genetic enhancements were as much as uh, 75 credits, which is effectively... Mm, I'm going to reload instead of going to Overwatch this turn. Um, I don't know how... I, I, I kind of just want to reload with them and then... With the sniper, it's almost in your best interest to, to do a dash because uh, until you get them up to like the third or fourth uh, rank, they can't go into Overwatch anyway, even after they move once. So um, there's just kind of a, a lack of decent places to send our soldiers here. So we're going to have to dash for this meld. Oh, I really thought that was behind cover. At least we have one person on Overwatch just in case. Um, I, I totally forgot what I was going to say. But, uh, what I'm getting at, genetic enhancements, pretty expensive. I imagine mechs are going to be expensive as well. And we only make like... A couple hundred per month, so... Uh, can my rookie dash... Yeah, he can dash over to the meld canister. Okay, so running in the other direction somehow got those sectoids on my trail. Uh, they may be the last uh, enemies on this level. So I'm trying to think about what I would do here. Unfortunately, uh, our sniper is not going to be able to hit them. 
And there's no way that they're going to be able to toss a grenade in here. Uh, but we still have Roll Fizzle Beef. Can he shoot a rocket in there and potentially kill them all? It, oh, there may be like one... Ah, shot is blocked. Okay. So you can't shoot a rocket after you move, unfortunately. Uh, so I think what I might do here is send Cactus over. The problem is if I miss on this, I'll probably be killed. Okay, let's start just by moving over here. So at least if this shot is still bad, I can move out of the way. 50% chance to hit. Never tell me the odds, right? What? Are, okay, so we, we are going to move Roll Fizzle Beef over as well. Um, and if I move him, where's the best spot for him? Maybe like over here, which still has cover apparently. Behind the, the, yeah, the outer rim of the tire, I guess. Now can he get a grenade in there that would maybe reduce their cover a little bit? Oh, it's so close! Just get stronger arms, you big baby! Okay, so we're going to have to take a shot here. 47% chance to hit. It's okay. Alright, the fact that we got that kill there is extremely important. Um, because now what do we have? 26% chance to hit, but I can run and gun. And I'll probably have uh, somewhere between a 90 and 100 chance to hit now that I'm like right inside and flanking them. Yeah, 100% chance to hit. Okay, so, you know, who dares wins? That actually worked out extremely well for us. That was a short mission. Uh, we didn't even have to go inside of the UFO. We got both meld canisters and uh, nobody even got hit. Scary, but, uh, you know, mission accomplished regardless. I don't know if we get anything for that, but maybe some promotions which are worth their weight in gold. Thank you very much, Dr. Volland. So we have another assault here, which kind of sucks because I want to support, but... Uh, assaults are useful as well. Who's our standout right now? I guess, you know, fittingly enough, Roll Fizzle Beef does have two kills per mission, which is a... Ah, same as Eagle Eye Crosshair, I guess. I can't, uh, enjoy myself for saying that name. Okay, so, um, we picked up some damaged flight computers and power sources, which we can sell on the gray market and get some more credits, so... Um, we can sell these and these because they have no research benefit. That's 70 extra credits. I barely used the gray market when I played through the game, um... The first time on the channel last year, but I assume I'm going to need them more often here. So we also picked up another Pizza Hut player of the game uh, medal. I'm going to award this to uh, Android Cactus. Why not? Wait, what, what is the benefit on this one? Maybe this is smart to think about. Plus five aim against enemies in full cover. Okay, you know what? We actually may want to use this on our sniper. Um, and we'll see her getting the medal here. So that was a pretty good mission. First mission of the morning. I recorded the first episode last night, so it's always nice to start without killing half of your soldiers. Um, the thing I wanted to buy was an upgrade to our officer training school. Why can I not do that yet? Maybe that only comes after the first month or something like that, because these early missions maybe are balanced to only allow you to uh, get... Um, or only allow you to have four squad members per mission. Oh, there's another alien abduction. Okay. So, we need engineers. Oh, but we could also really use a trip to India because that would really reduce uh, the panic there. But I think we need engineers more than anything else so we can get those satellite uplinks in the future. Plus, this is easier. Like, the mission difficulty is moderate as opposed to difficult. So, I think this is our best option, even though this seems like kind of a shitty thing to do. Mostly, this will allow me to get another satellite uplink facility up quickly, which may allow me to save, you know, two countries from not being uh, removed from the XCOM project instead of just India. We can always launch a satellite over India, but they're going to be pretty displeased with how this whole uh, organization is run pretty soon. Um, sure, we're going to go to Egypt instead. And uh, this is exactly the same as our last mission. We now have a squaddy, so I can... Or Alice Gray is now a squaddy, so I can now uh, customize her. So, we got another assault. What's another... You know, there's like assault on Precinct 13. Who is in that one? It's like John Travolta, right? Or Ethan Hawke? I'm trying to do... She could be Jen... Jen Travolta. Okay, I'll accept it. Um, it's the best I could do. And she's an assault, so we'll put her... I, I really like um, the, the third armor set. The one with the like huge Steve Jobs turtleneck here. Uh, and she can be decked out in cyan or, you know, light blue or turquoise, whatever we've got going on here. Works for me. She seems kind of, like, inconspicuous compared to everybody else. Um, I'm really hoping that this mission ends up, uh, getting some people promoted to the next level. I'm not sure if it's, like, corporal, lieutenant, whatever. I'm not very good with military ranks. We'll see, though. This is a, a very standard mission. I'm just concerned because we are getting to the point, still very early in the game, don't get me wrong. This is usually, like, a... 20 to 25 hour campaign potentially um, but uh, where we might be seeing any enemy alien types like chrysalids or like the new stealth aliens which are 
uh, extremely annoying to deal with. So I'm gonna. There are benefits to having two assaults. It allows us to take uh, more aggressive positions very early on in the game. Because if I like move up to a position like this one, for example, and then I actually trigger an alien, I could always run and gun, and then put myself into a better position that's actually covered, and then go into Overwatch afterwards. So. Um, that being said, I'm going to be, of course, uh, a little bit cautious here. I have no idea if this is going to be a good spot from a cover standpoint at all, but it, I appear to have not discovered anyone, so that's fine. And, you know, when it comes to, um, meld, the more the merrier. We're going to be trying to, uh, really deck out our soldiers pretty soon, so, um, we are going to be looking to get those canisters, if at all possible, whether directly getting them or shooting aliens in the face, doesn't matter to me. So, we're going to move our, uh, assault over here, and... I'm starting to feel really in touch with this squad, which means their lives are in danger. Like, I don't even need to look at the names anymore. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I don't need to look at their names anymore to know what classes they are, which is actually a very nice position to be in. Uh, I believe meld canisters can be destroyed, so... Oh, it sucks that our sniper can't actually get a shot here. So, um... Let me rotate the map so I don't accidentally choose the wrong spot. We'll send Roll Fizzlebeef up here. He does not have a shot. Can he sneak a grenade that far? Almost certainly not, right? Yeah, okay. So, we have to talk about what to do with our, uh... Oh my god, 1% chance to hit? Are you effing me? I should really take the med kit off of our assault, I guess, and give her a grenade or something, but it doesn't really matter. Um... Okay, so we, we have to do something with our sniper. And the sniper's gotta be put in a position where they can actually hit on the next turn. So I think this might do it. And still leave her... Oh, she can't see them. Maybe she'll be able to on the next turn, though. Mmm, I don't like much about this. I think I'm also going to move my other assault over behind this truck, because obviously I don't want to take a 1% chance. Uh, and how's your cover looking, uh, Roll Fizzlebeef? Not so great. Um, I may move you over here. Standard uh, sectoid move when you got two of them is they're gonna one of them's gonna mind meld to the other one. Oh, that doesn't appear to be the case here, does it? Um, usually one mind melts to the other one. Oh, that's kind of shitty. That's roll fizzle beef. Don't hit him. Don't touch him. This is scary. No. How can you? Fizzle beef can't die that early. Oh my god, we've had another panic as well. Oh my god, thank god you are trash. Okay, let's just be cool. I realize that he was our Pizza Hut player of the game uh, award winner a couple times, but seriously, we, we can still recover from this. Fucking sectoids, man. It's possible that we might have lost that mission if we'd actually hit our own soldiers. So, shotgun blast here. Of course this one's gonna miss. Um, our sniper can't actually hit them. Which is always nice. Uh, this is where Roll Fizzlebeef died, so I'm not super psyched about coming over here, but I have to get in a position where I can I can toss a grenade. Because this, this alien's gotta die. This is also gonna blow up the meld canister. Whatever, man. Yep, that's fine. Go nuts. Um, the meld canister will explode, but I don't want to live on this planet anymore without Roll Fizzlebeef. Don't talk to me about meld anymore, Dr. Volin. We've, we've lost soldiers out here today. Dr. Rowan always gets up in your grill. She's like, hey, oh, lordy, lordy, look who's 40. Oh, you missed. I've got a serious case of survivor guilt right now. I really wish that you had killed uh, this sniper lady instead of Roll Fizzlebeef, the greatest man that the world has ever seen and the hero of all ages. I mean, mostly 18 plus ladies, but seriously. Um, yes, this should be a 100% chance to hit. You will die. Oh, that felt good. Not, all is not lost yet, that should be obvious, but, uh, okay, so we've got another, uh, assault over here. She doesn't have a shot, and she doesn't have running gun either. So do I really want to take a chance with my sniper here that I'm gonna die, basically? Uh, I think I do, because I really want to eliminate one of these sectoids. So I'll take the 55% chance, do not miss this, or you're probably dead too. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a chain link fence! Shouldn't be that difficult. Um, well, I've got to put myself in a position where I, I at least like can hit them on the next turn. I'm not even behind cover here. Can I hit them with my pistol at least? Nope. Um, let's uh, let's go back to the shotgun and we'll, we'll enter Overwatch here. I think the last turn was a tactical mistake, but if I had actually hit that sectoid, that would have been the right idea. Okay, so there is going to be a mind meld here. This is actually potentially better. Oh man, the fact that we lost that... Uh, 
roll fizzle beef is so bad. Okay, so here comes the shotgun from Travolta. That's like a 2% chance to hit. Didn't work out. Um, we're really gonna need to buy these officer training school upgrades as soon as possible if I continue losing like half a soldier per mission. Um, okay. Of course now they, they can't aim for shit. Before it was like borderline fucking impossible. Uh, but they still managed to get two hits in quick succession. So I can't use headshot, but what are my odds here? 40%, 40%. I don't like those odds. Perhaps understandably. Um, I think I'm gonna move behind this car. And I would much rather take the shot at the, um, the alien that's mind melded, because it's just better value. Let's move over here. And we'll see, because if I can just use a grenade, I would rather do that and get out of the situation, in all honesty. Can you throw this over the fence? You can. Okay. So this should kill both of these sectoids, and maybe it'll allow me to go home. Um, which scares the shit out of me, because I'm, I'm going home minus one fizzle beef. There probably is going to be another sectoid uh, at some point on this mission. Oftentimes there is. Okay, yep, there is. Um, so let's take a second. Fuck the remaining meld canisters. We're just going to heal up here, or, you know, get our ammo back up. And we'll uh, go look for these remaining meld canisters. I I'm scared. I don't want to live in this world without the fizzle beef anymore. He was my rock. I mean, literally, he was in great shape, but, uh, you know, also a metaphorical rock, like something that is now on the bottom of the ocean, unfortunately. Well, not yet. We've still got to, you know, get, get the body, not to be um, morose. Um, so, we have two assaults and a sniper. We're definitely, well, not definitely, but almost certainly not going to be able to get to that meld canister. So, uh, we'll send our sniper up here, so hopefully they'll have a shot if we get aggroed. We don't. I imagine that meld canister is not going to be recoverable. Ah, the aliens are so far away, too. And it looks like it's coming from above us, which makes me think that there is probably a thin man uh, above us. Or, you know, sorry, two thin men, because they, they travel in pairs, I guess. Um, our other assaults? Why, why can you only move, like, so shittily forward? We're going to be extremely cautious here, because, again, if I lose the meld canister, well... The person I was going to spell spend that meld canister on is dead already, so what does it matter anymore? I apologize. I did, I panicked a little bit when Rolf Fizzlebeef got killed. He just got two-shot by sectoids there. I really should have moved him behind cover, I suppose, but I really thought he had the chance. All right, so our, our meld canister is lost. Um, we should get aggro on our aliens here. No, okay. Um, so we'll move. Is there any other cover out here? Does the pylon count as cover? No justifiably. I think we move our sniper over here. Reason for that is, uh, okay, good. Um, the reason for that is that, uh, you, you want the sniper to be in kind of an advanced position, just so that, oh man, I don't like this, but we'll, we'll send our assault, like, out here. Um, just so that, um, you know, until they get to the rank three or four, they can't actually shoot and move in the same turn. So it's important to have them in a firing position right out the bat. Oh, Jesus. The, the aliens continue to move around in an unpredictable fashion here. I should have done normal difficulty. We still don't have visual on them. Um, I've got my, again, my mental maps all effed up here. Uh, we'll, we'll send our assault okay. out here. And since we haven't discovered anybody yet, we'll just go into Overwatch, and I'll send my sniper out uh, oh, next to the assault. So everyone's going to stay very close together here. If we get poisoned, we got some serious problems. But so far, so okay, despite the one soldier that we've lost. At least we didn't invest in, like, turning him into a super soldier before we got him killed. Um, okay, so we'll, again, slowly leapfrog our characters forward. I assume that in a second we like as soon as we round this corner we are probably going to discover uh the alien abominations here so i'm just oh that's the final spot before you're out of cover isn't it we could discover an alien there which scares me but let's do it okay very lucky that we did not actually see one there so my hope here of course is that um i'll send these assaults around the corner ah but it looks like they're over where i died before oh there they are okay so this is what I wanted to do. We discover them, and then hopefully, because our sniper's in an advanced position, they have a shot. 55, 55. Let's take the one that's a little further away. Might not make a difference. All right. Maybe made a difference, maybe didn't. And if these should be the last sectoids on this mission, so I'm pretty sure if I just go balls to the wall, like, running gun, please tell me, like, I don't get caught out here by, like, another, uh, like, a floater or a thin man or something. Uh, or, you know, worse, I guess. 
Um, I should have a very good shot here. 100% chance to hit. So I'm imagining this will be the end of this mission. All right, we lost Roll Fizzle Beef to so this mission. Don't tell me that losing one soldier is good, Control. That was He was our best soldier. The one that we needed the most. The good news is we did get a, a squad member promoted to Corporal. So she can either get plus 5 defense per enemy in sight or plus 10 critical chance per enemy in sight. Um, let's, go, um, let's go for the extra critical chance. That can really save your life. Uh, and Roll Fizzle Beef is dead. I don't want to talk about it. Squatty Gen Travolta has been on three missions, hasn't gotten a single kill yet. Roll Fizzle Beef was a goddamn ubermensch, but he's been killed. Um, okay, so now we can build workshops. We got engineers, and panic has increased to the point where it could be worse. But India is definitely uh, our first satellite target. When is our satellite available? Yes, I know. Oh, God, we may actually lose it. Oh, no, we're not going to. Because the way that it works is if a country is in panic when a... Um, when a uh, council report comes in, then they get removed to the project. But um, we're going to have a satellite in five days, which we can use. Um, can I now go to the officer training school? Man, why do I not have that yet? Is that something that only unlocks after you like get the foundry or something? All right, so we finished weapon fragments. This allows us to build the scope, which is, you know, let's put it this way. We're making slow progress. Um, beam weapons is going to take too long, so why don't we do uh, Xenobiology. This will allow us to build the Arc Thrower and the Containment Center so we can capture a live alien. Um, Dr. Volan. Uh, now is not the time. Uh, now we'll, let's just see if we can at least get our Cybernetics Lab up and running before the next mission. If not, this will probably be the end of the episode. So this is the Cybernetics Lab. I'll let the, uh, the cutscene play because I've never seen it before. Oh, okay. Well, that was not quite as impressive as I thought it would be um, and let's just we'll go to augment our soldiers now because why not right so the way that it works the way that this works is it's probably gonna take a couple of days but um, why don't we take eagle eye and once they become uh, a mech they actually lose their class I think but they need to be a squaddy in order to at least be augmented so I think Android cactus is already fairly high up the food chain on the assault side here and I don't want to lose my sniper so why don't we make Gen Travolta who is like our least effective uh, mech or sorry our least effective soldier um, we'll make her into you know Robocop here basically so she is going to oh you get a bonus ability if you start as depending on which class you start as I understand so 10 meld 10 credits that's cheap in three days, she is going to be, um, well, she's going to lose her arms and legs, but we'll, we can rebuild her, we can make her stronger. So let's just quickly see if we get our satellite up before the next mission, so I can launch that over India. People will be happier, I promise. Okay, um, so this is good. We'll probably be without uh, Travolta for our next mission, but that's fine. Let's go to the Situation Room, launch a satellite over India. Now, let me guess, we have no satellites in range, or sorry, we have no interceptors in range. Um... Oh, wait, by launching the satellite in India, we also got 200 extra credits. That's awesome. All right, so we don't have any um, any interceptors in India, but we got a ton of credits there, so we might as well just get one. Uh, we'll order an interceptor over Asia. Um, view ship list, Asia, order interceptors. Yep, one should be fine for now. Uh, now, with 287 credits, let's go to build facilities, and we need to build another satellite uplink facility, so why don't we build that over here? Oh, I need more engineers? Okay, so we'll build a workshop first. Since the cybernetics lab counts as a workshop, we might as well get the um, bonus here. So this is going to work like so, and the workshop will be done in 10 days. And we can maybe do some more excavation. I'm just doing like very little stuff here that I don't want to forget before the next episode. I will build a scope, and we will give one of those scopes to our sniper, which gives them a, a, a significant increase to their aim, it says. And, you know, let's just see if we get the cybernetics augmentation done before the next mission. Oh, it looks like we do. And we got an achievement. The cybernetic interfaces are holding stable. But they're of no use without a cybersuit to interface with. I suggest we manufacture one immediately. When our new mech trooper equips that suit, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with its capabilities.
You see, the story that I've just concocted in my head is she and Roll Fizzlebeef, initially they were from like the same high school and he was a jock and she was like a nerd. But then, you know, they, they hated each other, but then, you know, the alien invasion happens, they both join up, it's basically the plot of Starship Troopers. Uh, they join up and then they begrudgingly start to respect each other and then fall in love with one another. And then these two sectoids fucking shoot Roll Fizzlebeef in the head and then Jen Travolta's like, oh, I'm so angry, I gotta get revenge, so she... Uh, opts into this like experimental surgery protocol and now she's a fucking robot dominatrix who is gonna save the world I should name her Jen Fizzlebeef um, alright so you can now assign new mech trooper class training and equip the soldier with a mech suit let's do so um, let me just go over this because I have not actually done any of this mech stuff before only mech troopers may equip mechs got it second rule you never talk about mech troopers third rule the mech has three tech levels. Research is required to gain access to mech upgrades. Got it. All right. Build new mech. Um, what do we want here? A flamethrower? Lays waste to a cone-shaped area. Flame can spill outside of the aiming area. Or a powerful arm upgrade for the mech, allowing the wielder to pulverize adjacent cover and enemies. Also boosts mobility. Um, so it seems like either way, you got to get pretty up close and personal, right? Do we want a sweet-ass flamethrower? Or a bitchin' arm that can punch through things. I'm gonna go with the bitchin' arm here. That sounds beautiful. How long will this take? No time whatsoever. Um, okay, so go to the barracks and select a mech trooper. I can do that. Barracks. Uh, view soldiers. Gen Travolta. Abilities. Collateral. Oh, so now the mech is like a whole separate class. Let me look through the upgrades here. Uh, area of effect attack that destroys most cover and hits all el eligible targets for 34% damage. Oh, so this is like a, a special attack. Okay, got it. Um, so loadout, do I just... Have I equipped this all? Oh, Jesus. Alright, I'm into this. Um, I can't equip any other weapon. Like I would even want to. You think I just want to throw her out here in a robot suit to get killed? Fuck no. Okay. This is awesome. This is the perfect time to end this episode as you look at this imposing figure. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, and again, I'm stressing this because the series is in its infancy, make sure to show your support. Click the like button. Help me out a lot if you enjoyed the episode. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more Daily Enemy Within. As always, thanks for watching. We are going to avenge Roll Fizzlebeef here. Maybe this is the perfect time to, or the perfect place to end this episode. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks in advance for your support, and I'll see you next time.